Hound's tongue, or as some people call it, beggar's lice, is a biennial that was introduced to the United States from Europe and Asia as a contamination of cereal seed. This noxious weed was first recorded in Oregon in 1893 and then in Montana in 1900. Today, hound's tongue is reported to be invading most of the United States. With this plant being a biennial, the first year it produces a rosette of just leaves, and the second year it will shoot up a stalk, flower, and then produce seed. It has a taproot, and the flowers can range in color from burgundy, reds, and purples. Hound's tongue is a member of the borage family and has leaves that are oblong with soft white hairs and have prominent veins that look like a dog's tongue. This plant not only displaces desirable vegetation, but is also toxic to animals, especially horses and cows, causing liver disease and eventually liver failure. The seeds can also become lodged in the eyelashes of livestock and wildlife, causing eye damage. The seeds are probably the best identification of this plant. They're about the size of a watermelon seed and have stiff Velcro-like barbs on them. They stick to everything they come in contact with, like fur and clothing. So if you get hound's tongue seeds on you or your animal, don't be a pick and flicker. Pull the seeds off and put them in a trash bag or burn barrel. By throwing the seeds on the ground, you are only planting another toxic weed that can produce up to 2,000 seeds or more. If you don't have a bag, the best thing is to break the seed in half to make the seed not viable. Treating this plant is fairly simple. Because of the taproot, it can be hand pulled and it can be sprayed in the rosette stage. Plants that have already produced seeds should be pulled, bagged, and burned. The most important thing about noxious weeds is to educate yourself to protect the landscape for wildlife and future generations. If you think you have noxious weeds, contact your local weed district, extension office, or Department of Agriculture.